So I want to go over new features of this uh, Chronos Blade Genesis it's a new Android smartwatch. Um, it does have its own SIM card that you can install on the back of there. It is a standalone uh, standalone phone. Uh, you can also uh, tether it to a smartphone. Uh, this is the Watch Droid app. Uh, this is an older version that uh, is not available in the Play Store. You would have to find it um, that is able to uh, make phone calls. Uh, if you're going to be making the phone call, you actually are still using a Bluetooth that's tethered to the uh, phone. This is just starting and stopping the, the telephone. Uh, you can also send messages. Uh, any notification that comes to the phone will be directly linked into the watch that you can reply to, and then it'll send it back out to the phone and, and uh, on out. Um, <clears throat> one thing that uh, I do like about this watch is uh, the fact that it is a standalone phone. Like I said, this is neat. Um, really cool features that you can uh, turn the camera on, uh, take a picture. Uh, review the picture. Neat, neat, neat stuff. Um, the phone call functions uh, only work if this screen is on and active. Uh, if you lock the screen, will not make the phone calls. You can receive phone calls, text messages, reply to text messages, all of that. Uh, but you cannot actually make the phone call unless this screen is on. Uh, what I've done uh, to help fit with that is there's this app right here uh, called Touch Lock. Uh, what I do is um, you leave it on here, enable the Touch Lock, so that that way you can uh, leave the, the screen on. Um, what I do with that is uh, leave the screen on and then turn the brightness down as low as it goes, uh, so that it's not killing your battery, uh, but that way at least you can make a phone call um, if you needed to. Uh, the other direction that I go with this, uh, since that's really inconvenient, uh, can be done but not as convenient. Um, what I've also done with this is set it up using the Google Voice service um, so that that way both the watch and the phone uh, have the same phone number. Uh, you can call that phone number and it links to the cell phone uh, number here in the phone and the cell phone number in the watch links both of those numbers together. Uh, and, and is able to make a phone call through uh, a voice over IP. Uh, it's a really neat service. Uh, you do have to have a uh, fairly decent service to use that, otherwise uh, it won't work and it's going to default back to your, f your original phone number, not the voice over number. A uh, little, little confusing there uh, for, for some things, but it's really uh, handy and convenient because uh, both text messages and uh, phone calls both go to both uh, both phone and watch at the same time. Uh, you can also transfer between the two if you need to. Neat stuff. I've got another uh, little quick review showing how that function works. Um, I do have this watch set up. Uh, instead of using the original uh, watch faces and uh, that kind of stuff, uh, I have a Nova launcher on here. Um, so that it uses normal Android in, instead. Um, so if you slide down, you've got your normal uh, notification bar that you see see here. You can reply to uh, on on anything that you've got there, um, <clears throat> as well as you can. Uh, if you have a message, uh, it will be displayed in in any of these folders here, uh, and and you can hold. Uh, click and hold on it and it will bring the little uh, place to reply to as well. Um, since nothing's active, you just have these little menus that pop up on instead. Um, so uh, these little folders here I have uh, set up with a lot of my recent and, and commonly used apps. Uh, also set up so that you have gestures uh, in there as well. So that instead of just clicking for uh, the app and going to it, you can click and hold and uh, slide up on it, and it will send you to uh, an app instead. Uh, for instance, on this one here, um, you have a lot of my home home stuff here. Uh, but instead, if I uh, slide up on it, it then goes to the Google Home setting instead. Um, 
Uh, same thing on the phone. Uh, if you hit the phone down here, this is the internal SIM card uh, that you're making a phone call here, not from the phone, but it, this uh, SIM card that is installed here. <coughs> and so, uh, instead of clicking on it, if you slide up on it, it then sends you into your text messages instead. Um, so kind of neat stuff that you can do with the gestures, uh, two fingers slide up, We'll do uh, one thing. Um, I also have it set up so that if you pinch, uh, and <coughs> so that was a slide down. Uh, but if you rotate, it will then uh, will then take a picture uh, of uh, whatever's in, in front here. If you uh, grab and rotate, it will then uh, snap a picture, save it. And then you can take another picture just by touching the screen if you wanted to. So, kind of some neat features there that you've got set up. I've also got set up on the back button here. Uh, if you push and hold down on it, it will bring up the Google Assistant as well. So there's some neat features that I've got set up. That one is done with the button mapper. Um, there's uh, our widgets that we have set up here that we can go through uh, here. Uh, I have another one that works pretty well is, is the Smart Touch. Uh, and then uh, this one is the, the Floating Touch here instead. So both of those work fairly well. Um, I do like this charging dock that they've got, this thing <clears throat> will snap on here and you can actually wear it uh, on your wrist while you're uh, charging the phone which is a pretty kind of neat feature that you've got there.